Now in today's video, I have this entire empty Pokeball tin case. Now what I would like to do is fill up this entire case with the brand new Pokemon Dive Ball tins, but unfortunately, I don't have any right now. I have an empty case from previous Pokeball tin releases, but I don't have the Dive Ball tin. So that means we gotta go to the store and get six Dive Ball tins, and I feel like it's not gonna be a one store trip. So Breaking Family, let's not wait any longer. Let's go get some Dive Ball tins. We're back in the studio with six of the brand new Pokemon Dive Ball 10. I gotta admit, this right here is a beautiful sight. What is up, my Breaking Family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Real Breaking Nate, and let's go ahead and start opening up all six of these brand new Dive Ball Pokeball 10s right here. These got released about a week ago and I have yet to open up any of them and I decided you know what why open up just one or two when I can open up six of them fill up an entire case and open up six of them so what comes inside is a burning shadows booster pack we have an evolutions booster pack and then a lost thunder and then we also have the coin right here as well now I think so far out of all of the tin releases this one right here actually might be my favorite my favorite pokeball tin release that is now these do go for about twelve dollars twelve ninety nine US so let's go ahead and open up the very first tin or should we just go ahead and no let's go ahead and open up the first tin right here I thought maybe we should just get all the packs out but that might take a while so let's just go ahead and start try to pull some ultra rare pokemon cards breaking family do me a favor smash that like button uh, let's try to get the video to uh, 2,000 likes nothing crazy just a simple 2,000 and if you're new here to the channel go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button become part of the breaking family I upload videos four to five times every single week we're just having a great time here on the channel enjoying Pokemon beauty fly is our very first rare from lost thunder there's the code card as well I never keep any of the code cards I always show them to all of you Evolutions. I know we hardly ever see evolutions inside of a Pokemon card product, but luckily enough, this time around, we get some evolutions. And yes, that is a joke. Okay. <laughs> All right. Evolutions. Electabuzz. Rat. Growlithe. Nidoran. Volpix. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Metapod Pod. Ooh, hey, Secret Rare. Reverse Hello Machop and a Doug Trio for the rare inside of that one. Secret rare, I will go ahead and put it right up there. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that that is a secret rare. And, you know, usually when you see a secret rare, you know, it's either gold or it's like a hyper rare. Um, but this time around, this uh, in Evolutions, it was not, it was not even a hollow. So if you're opening up Evolutions, make sure you watch out for that. Okay, Burning Shadows, we do have a chance at the hyper rare. Charizard GX inside of this booster pack, inside of this set. Uh, and that card is actually still a pretty valuable card coming in at about $200. Uh, of course, ungraded. Now, if he was to get it graded by, you know, PSA or Beckett, most likely PSA uh, for that one. Hey, Hollow Rare Gyarados, uh, the value would uh, in uh, significantly increase, significantly increase uh, in value for that. So, uh, Burning Shadows is still pretty easy to get, actually, too. So go out there, grab yourself some Burning Shadows. Try to grab uh, or pull that Hyper Rare Charizard GX before, uh, before you can't find any Burning Shadows anymore. And, of course, the Hidden Fates Shiny Charizard GX is based off of, uh, uh, is based off of that Burning Shadows uh, Charizard GX. Okay. Now, in this one, we have a Rowlet coin, which is different from the Lucario coin that we just got. Now, we also do have Breakpoint, so that's interesting. Lost Thunder, and then a Burning Shadow, so a little bit different variety than the first time around. Uh, Evolutions was in that first one, and then this one, we have Breakpoint. It did take me probably about, I don't know, maybe six stores to find uh, six dive ball tins worth. Uh, some stores didn't have them and then some stores had multiples. So uh, it, what I'm thinking is judging from what I saw in stores is that each case that they put in stores uh, has about two dive ball tins uh, inside of them. Now there is really no such thing as a dive ball case. I just had an empty case from a previous video 
and I wanted to fill up that entire case with dive ball tins. So uh, don't go out to stores looking for an entire case of dive ball tins because you will not find one, but you can make your own case exactly like how I did today. Snubble, Marini, Cyndaquil, Poiple, Combi, Energy. I'll put that right back there. A Lowland Doug Trio with those luscious, luscious, luscious locks of hair. Professor Elm's lecture. Nobody likes to be lectured, okay? Sizor and a Rabumbi for the rare. You know, we've been opening up so much sword and shield that it's kind of nice to uh, take, take a break from sword and shield today and come back to some older Pokemon card sets for today's Pokemon opening and, you know, enjoy some of those cards. Meowth. Magikarp, where is the Magikarp squad at? Panseer, Energy, I'll put that right back there. Soul Rock, Wishful Baton, Amount, a Sandy Gas, uh oh. Charizard GX Breaking Family. It's not the hyper rare Charizard, but it's still a Charizard GX, and I am perfectly, perfectly happy with that. There's the code card for that one. Let me go ahead and sleeve that one up. Charizard GX. It looks like it's a little bit off-center, if you take a look at it right there. Uh, off-center, look at the sides right there. Still, Charizard GX, I'm not complaining one bit. You can't complain when you pull a Charizard. There we go, uh, looking very, very lovely. So both tins are kind of delivering so far, and I am not complaining about that at all. Now, as I struggle to open up this next tin right here, do me a favor in the comment section down below. Do you like to buy Pokemon card products like this? Um, they are a little bit of a, you know, novelty gimmicky, um, but I enjoy them. But I want to know if you enjoy them. Uh, so let me know in the comment section down below. Do you buy products like this or do you typically tend to stay away from them? And maybe you just enjoy uh, watching openings of the, these type of products on YouTube instead of buying them for yourself. Let me know. Rowlet as our coin. And then it looks like we have another break point. Uh, I think I'd probably rather have evolutions than break point inside of these. Lost Thunder and another Burning Shadow. So let's go ahead and start opening up this one. Lost Thunder. Of course, uh, let's see, Lost Thunder. What did we have in Lost Thunder? I'm trying to remember. We had Lugia in Lost Thunder, didn't we? Or was Yeah, we had Lugia in Lost Thunder. Definitely. So that would be a good one to pull. Hop it, pick a pack, which is a bird. And what do birds gotta do? Birds gotta fly, fly away, bird, fly away. Durant, Cub Chew, with all that snot just hanging out of its nose. Energy. We have an employee, Quill Lava, Pupitar, a Lowland Doug Trio with those luscious, luscious, luscious locks of hair. And an unknown. Nobody knows what the Pokemon is, it's unknown. There's the code card for that one. Going into Breakpoint. If you did not see yesterday's video, you are going to want to see it. I went to the Dollar Tree to buy a bunch of Sword and Shield Dollar Tree packs. And um, we have a little bit of an issue. We have a little bit of an issue. I don't want to tell you what it is. Go back and watch that video. I'll link you up at the very end of today's video. But we have a little bit of an issue going on uh, with Dollar Tree Pokemon packs. So... Go and check out that video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and you can give your opinions and your thoughts uh, in that video. And I definitely, definitely want to hear them on that subject matter. So uh, make sure you go and do that, please. Okay. You know, and Dollar Tree packs have always been some of my favorite Pokemon packs to open up and uh, it's getting a little rough. Getting a little rough when it comes to Dollar Tree packs. Uh, and a meow stick. Like I said, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in that video. Go into the next one right here. Okay, I'm going to try not to struggle with it. But when, usually when you open these up, they kind of like unravel. You see this? Look. You can just kind of keep spinning and spinning and get dizzy from it. And now I'm struggling on camera. Don't look. Nobody look at me. I promise I know exactly what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay. Whew. They definitely put a good seal on those. Okay, and I don't mean the Pokemon. We got Breakpoint, Lost Thunder, and Evolution, or uh, and Burning Shadows once again. I wonder what is up with uh, that one just having evolutions in it and then these not having evolutions. 
That's a weird, weird thing going on here. Okay, maybe we'll run into another one with evolutions. Who knows? Okay, Breakpoint. How you doing, Breakpoint? We haven't actually opened up Breakpoint here on the channel in quite some time. Drowsy. So uh, it's it's great to take a look back at it. All Night Party with the Umbreon right on the front of that, or right, uh, right in the center. Clefable and a Golduck. Now, we all know Psyduck is the best Pokemon in the entire world. You can argue with me down in the comment section if you want to. It won't work because we all know Psyduck is the best Pokemon ever, 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 and always will be. And most people think that I'm a Golduck fan, but I'm actually not. I'm not a Golduck fan at all. I'm a Psyduck fan. Alolan Diglett, not to Chikorita, Snubble, Ralts, Reverse Hollow Snubble, Moo Moo Milk, uh oh, Vespaquin, Heracross, Toxapec. Uh, that is our rare right there. I totally thought I was still in the XY era and completely forgot. There's the code card for that one. I'll put it right back there. And the energy. Let me put that in my filing cabinet as well. Burning Shadows. Let's pull another Charizard. Why not? Let's make it two Charizards in today's Pokemon opening. Now, we've only pulled one Ultra Rare so far. I don't know how how well these tens have been delivering the Ultra Rare or the Secret Rare Pokemon cards, but uh, so far we've only gotten one. Heracross and Araquanid for the rare in that one. Code card once again. I'll put it right back over there. Let's go into another, another Pokeball 10. Now, I think what we might need to do for today's video... Um, is open up some more Dollar Tree booster packs. Yep, open up some more Sword and Shield Dollar Tree booster packs. As kind of a redeeming factor for yesterday's video, you'll, like I said, when you watch the video, you'll totally understand what's going on. So um, I think at the very end, after we, we have this 10 and then one more 10, we'll open up a couple Sword and Shield Dollar Tree Pokemon packs and see how well we do in those. Larvitar. Carbink, Chikorita, Scyther, Myrel, Energy, Girafferig, spelled forward, or spelled the same backwards as it is forwards, Stantler, Litleo, and a Milk Tank. And a code card for all of you. Evolutions, there you are. Where have you been? We've been missing you. Now we could pull a Charizard inside of this one as well. We will have to see. Uh, Mega Charizard's also in this, but we want that kind of like base set Charizard, the remake of the base set Charizard. Onyx, double colorless energy, super potion, Charmeleon. Okay, it's a good sign. Tangula, and a Mewtwo. I'll take a Mewtwo. It's not a hollow rare, but those Kanto vibes are strong. And the code card for that one. And the coin is a Lucario, so it looks like Rowlet. Uh, Rowlet with Breakpoint Packs, and then Lucario with Evolution Packs. If you're looking to get some older sets, this is, I mean, these aren't crazy old sets, but they will be one day. Um, you know, if you're looking to get some of these more Sun and Moon XY sets, these might be a good item for you to pick up. Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Acerola, Noctowl, and a Crab Abominable for the rare. Okay, last Dive Ball Pokemon 10, or Pokemon Dive Ball 10, whichever way you want to go. And then we are going to open up those Sword and Shield Dollar Tree Booster Packs. Okay, come on, don't make me look like a fool. We got one 10 left. Come on. This, that is just crazy. Come on. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. That was way, way more difficult than it should have been. The last one looks like it has another break point instead of evolutions, which is okay. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute, breaking family. What do we have here? We have an air Pokemon coin. This is the first time I have ever seen something like this. Look at this. It has not been painted. So here is a normal one, and there is the air version. There's the back of it right there. We legit just pulled an air Pokemon coin. It's a misprint, too. A misprint Pokemon coin? 
Now, I've seen air Pokemon uh, Pokemon cards and uh, and misprint Pokemon cards, but never, never of a coin. That is absolutely crazy. Look at that. Have you ever seen something like this before? What in the... This was worth it right here. This right here, it was worth it. Because if you are a longtime fan of the channel, you know how much I love error and misprint stuff when it comes to Pokemon, Pokemon cards or Pokemon items. Um, so this right here is right up my alley. Wow. Okay. Psyduck, the best Pokemon ever. Phantup, Glammeow, Gibble, Chikorita, Sudowoodo. We have a Splash Energy, Electivire, Aromatease, and a Golduck for the rare in that one. Let me know in the comment section, have you ever seen something like that before? A misprint Pokemon coin. We've all seen cards, but a coin? Are you serious? That right there. That is, that is something. That is definitely something. Wormpole, Marini, Yamask, Stunfisk, Larvitar, Energy. I'll put it right back there. Mantine, Girafferig, Mixed Herbs, Scyther, and a Slow King. Loving the artwork on that Slow King code card for that one. All right, last booster pack from the Dive Ball 10. And then we are going to go into some Sword and Shield Dollar Tree Pokemon packs and try our luck with those. We got ourselves an Alolan Vulpix. Hoot Hoot. It's a bird. Fly away, bird. Ladyba, Mudbray, Horsey, Energy, put it in my filing cabinet right over there. Olivia, Buffalant, Charmeleon, Crabominable, Code Card, whoosh. And an Electros. Okay, let's see if we face the same problem in today's Pokemon opening of these Dollar Tree packs as we did in yesterday's video. So here we go. I have 25 Sword and Shield Dollar Tree Pokemon packs. And as the king of the dollar store. I hope that this time around, it's a little bit better. <laughs> it wasn't too bad last time, but when you watch the video, or if you have seen the video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Now there is no, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, that thing talking about Pokemon TV, that card in the very back. There is none of those inside of these Sword and Shield packs. So uh, don't expect one of those. Not like you were looking for one anyway. I'm just saying, don't expect it. Uh, I have 25 of these. They are starting to pop up at Dollar Trees. I actually have not checked Dollar General yet to see if they've popped up in Dollar General. So uh, if you have seen them there, please let me know and the rest of the Breaking Family know as well if you have found them there and how your luck has been with the Dollar Tree pack so far. I know a lot of people are... Uh, pretty skeptical when it comes to Dollar Tree packs. They're not quite sure if they would like to, uh, you know, buy them because they are a dollar. You only get three cards. Um, you know, there is a chance that somebody could have weighed them, which is definitely, definitely not cool at all. Uh, so great ball. I always take the chance. I love Dollar Tree packs. You know, the, the chance of spending a dollar on a Pokemon pack and then legit being able to pull anything from the set could be a gold Zacian V. Uh, the, the excitement of that, if it was to happen, would be absolutely crazy and would be an, an amazing feeling. So, you know, for $1, I think I'm willing to take that risk. All right, Muna, Thwacky, and a Pokegear 3.0. Now, I did buy these at a different Dollar Tree location than I did... Uh, yesterday's video so hopefully 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 woo Lou and dub wool and a joltic and i think my battery is running out hey i'm just being honest with every single one of you right honesty is key okay here we go next one let's see if we can pull an ultra rare a one dollar ultra rare another great ball didn't we just pull a reverse hollow great ball we did wow okay we've been pulling a lot of reverse hollows actually that's a good sign that's definitely a good sign Put that right back there in my filing cabinet. Golden, Eldegoss, and another reverse hollow? Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not complaining at all. It's just to see that many reverse hollows in a row is a little interesting. Grookey, energy switch, and hey, there we go. Ultra rare from a Dollar Tree pack. Torkoal V. Nice. Blowing out that snot 
I know it's not snot. It's smoke. It's blowing the smoke out of its nose. Ah, yes. Okay, this makes me feel really, really, really good. Let me go ahead and grab a sleeve. Ugh. And sleeve up our $1 Ultra Rare Torco. Good job on blowing that smoke snot out of your nose. Next up. Ooh, that definitely makes me feel better. Definitely makes me feel better. We have Krabby, Mantine, and a Reverse Hollow Shelter. What is up with the Reverse Hollows? I know the first couple packs didn't have a Reverse Hollow, but this time around, we're doing pretty good. We have a Diglett Dig, Energy Surge, and another Reverse Hollow. What is up with this? It's like the complete opposite of yesterday's Pokemon opening. I'm getting honestly a little, a little weirded out by it. Okay, here we go. Selling it, Quillfish. Okay, there we go. No reverse hollow. Makes me feel a little less weary now. I think we were just on a roll. We're just on a roll. We got a Rhyhorn Energy and a Sudowoodo. Wow, that came right back into the picture. Sudowoodo. I did actually grab these from the very back of the Dollar Tree box. They looked like they were still in order uh, from when they were put out. So. Whenever I buy Dollar Tree packs, I always tend to uh, pull the packs from the very back of the box. Uh, I feel like they'd be less tampered with. Energy and a Mawile Reverse Holo. This is some crazy good luck. I mean, I know they're not ultra rares, but still, that's that's crazy good luck. We have a Slizzlepede, Hyper Potion, and a Nicket. Reverse Hollows. It is raining Reverse Hollows right now. Are we going to have another one? Joltik, Bisharp, <laughs> and an Aurora Energy. I'm going to go back to this Dollar Tree that I was just at and potentially just buy the rest of the box because if it's this good of luck, uh, I can only imagine what the rest of the packs are. And a Reverse Hollow Toxic Croak. It actually might be a card we might be able to add to our uh, Sword and Shield Pokemon card binder. We are trying to pull one of every single card from the set pull every card from the set. That's right. It's a little bit of a challenge, but we're trying to make it happen. And a reverse holo Joltik. I wonder if something is wrong with that box. If there's like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a miss, I don't know, misprint or, or, or I don't, it wouldn't be a misprint. It's just something wrong with the box where like most of the packs have reverse hollows. I need to go back and buy the rest of the box. Do you think I should? Let me know in the comment section. Energy. And a Wobbuffet V. There we go. Two Ultra Rares. Wobbuffet V and a Torkoal. Wobbuffet. Definitely my top five favorite Pokemon of all time. Wobbuffet V. How you doing? Dollar Tree treating us good today. How about a Gold Zacian? Gold Zacian V from a dollar pack. Energy. And a Krabby. The 120 damage Krabby. One day that's going to get played on me and I'm I'm not going to be happy about it. Woo, Lou, Citrus Berry, and a Joltik. We got three booster packs left, Breaking Family. Hopefully you enjoy today's Pokemon card opening. You're always welcome here on this channel. Every single one of you are always welcome here on this channel. You will not be judged here. We just, we appreciate everybody. We're just here to have a good time and put positive vibes out into the world. And just be ourselves. That's what it's all about. Just be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else. Just be you. Last booster pack. What do we got? Here we go. Breaking family. Gold Zacian V. Dottler. And a Vulpix. Hey, Canto vibes. I'll definitely take it. Wobbuffet V. Torkoal V. Charizard GX. And a secret rare Doduo. I'll take it. And of course, as always, Breaking Family, thanks for watching the channel and taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with this weird person right here. If today was a rough day for you, remember that tomorrow is a new day, a new day for you to wake up and give it your best. Don't forget, life is awesome and so are you. I love every single one of you amazing people all around this world. And I'll see all of you, all of you, in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and high five.